Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Today we're going to be talking about Oculus Link versus Virtual Desktop and also versus Oculus Quest as we're going to be using the app Echo VR. Let's go! <laughs> Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. My name is Lazius Ken. Welcome back also for another Tuesday Link vs VD, which we do every single Tuesday, where we compare the Oculus Link with Virtual Desktop, these two amazing technologies which enable you to stream any virtual reality app from your PC directly on your Oculus Quest. <laughs> How awesome is that? So one of them basically enables you to do it completely wirelessly using virtual desktop and the other one you have to be tethered with a cable to the PC using Oculus Link. So why would you use one over the other? Well, this is why we do these shows every single week to portray the consistency and the development in these technologies. And today we're going to be sprinkling some magical dust using the Oculus Quest as well because we're going to be using Echo VR which is available today by the way. For the public open beta, we were invited for the closed alpha, which is how we were able to record the footage before the official opening. Now, when you're going to be looking at these comparison today, look at the specularity, the shadows, the stuttering, and especially the colors. You're going to see the colors are quite different. Now, if you want to know how to install Oculus Link or virtual desktop, link in the description below. I'm pretty sure these useful, these useful, these videos will be useful for you. And also, of course, watch until the end of the video as I will explain to you what settings I use for virtual desktop, especially. All right, without further ado, let's begin. Before I share with you which one was Oculus Link, which one was VD, and which one was Oculus Quest, I would just like to give a quick shout out to all those who went to watch and comment on last week's video, which was also Tuesday Link versus VD using Google Earth. You guys are really awesome. And of course, leave your comments below so that I can give you a shout out in the next video. 
right, time to reveal which is which now, which one was Oculus Quest, Oculus Link and Virtual Desktop? Well, if you had thought that A was Oculus Quest, you would have got it right because that was actually the Oculus Quest, of course. So for that, you win 10,000 points. Of course, today's video wasn't the official review of Echo VR on the Oculus Quest. You'll have to subscribe and click the bell for that video to come as I'll be releasing it probably in a couple weeks time. But I have to admit I was very amazed by the difference in performance by all three different technologies this week compared to the other episodes of Link vs VD that we did in the previous weeks. Now, first of all, on virtual desktop, the edges, the graphics were so sharp that all the edges were extremely jaggered. The Oculus Quest actually did much better than the virtual desktop, although Oculus Link, I have to admit, wins it by far, simply because all the ambient inclusion is there and also the smoke and all these special effects are just wow, just wonderful. And all the edges aren't as jaggered as virtual desktop. In Oculus Quest, however, they took off all the ambient inclusion. They took off all the special effects like the smoke or the smog or the fog and all these kind of things. So it really is a, you know, quite a, I would say a liquefied version uh, compared to the Oculus Link. And also the graphics, I have to admit, the developers could have done a better job and make sure that the edges weren't so jaggered. This really reminded me when Doctor Who came out at the very beginning where the graphics were just mm, not on par. But I have to admit that it's much smoother than virtual desktop, so I didn't have any motion sickness whatsoever. But Oculus Link won hands down today. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks for your support. Remember to like and subscribe, share some love, so that you and I together we can grow the community and help as many people as possible in virtual reality, because that is what it's all about. All right, until next time, watch out for the eight-part mini-series with the home tour of the brand new uh, released user interface by Oculus Quest on the version 16, which will be coming out from tomorrow onwards. Until next time, take it easy. And as always, DJ, take it away.